So also interesting uh, situation is with tube market because we know the tube production manufacturing market very well because we are involved in investment in the new fa tube factories. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have to learn the whole situation globally with tubes yeah. and it is very very complex because you have old tubes on the, still on the market with, from the stocks mm -hmm. and you have new production tubes which, uh, which at, at the, in one moment in history they were hit about by many negative factors. So the, the war in Ukraine and the, um, uh, in the Russia is practically uh, limited by sanctions. And also in China, the biggest factory in China burned down, which is uh, Shuguang. And uh, there are no startups, uh, as we know, that no, nobody starts new production. And uh, there will be no startups because the startup of the tube industry is not possible. We, I, I, can, I can say that it is not possible to build a new factory. So we are left with only two or three factories in the world capable of making tubes. Uh, and th this makes the situation very complex. In the meantime, the, the old stocks were mostly depleted. So okay. 10 years ago, you could buy thousands of different tubes. If you wanted a box of 100, a box of 1000, a box of 10 or a pair or one tube, doesn't matter, you could buy them all. Mm -hmm. Today, it's practically impossible. And okay. the price increased by one zero. Okay.